All right, Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bash me outside. Okay, double honesty, apostles of GMS. All right, honest, you both will be pushing this truth in sincerity. So, um, this video is uh, inspired by a video I was watching of uh, the recent Dallas uh, um, uh, GMS Fair, the Mall site um, uh, collaboration, which was a damn good video. I advocate anyone who hasn't seen it to watch to watch that. Okay, because I always, you know, always that will stir up a uh, um, all types of different video ideas, but uh, this is one of the points that were um, mentioned either in that one or the one prior to it. Okay, and this is uh, this is the the thing with the United States, which is to have this uh, these aircraft carriers. Now, I'm gonna just quickly go through this, and then uh, we can see what I'm talking about, and then really really navigate into it using the scriptures. Okay, because having a moving country. <laughs> which essentially this is this is what it is man in case okay, it's, it's basically a moving uh, uh, country on the sea so when you have it to where uh, other nations have got to put their formations and you got to send this out or they got to do uh, 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 um you know set missiles forth or or, or, or or contact another country that's closer by it so that they can retaliate the US has already got it to where one of their 19 aircraft carriers is in close proximity, okay? Because uh, as mentioned in the video that they did, which was a damn beautiful point, it's all good and well having a, a strong navy, but when you can have aircrafts, which is the higher ground, okay, you're gonna reign supreme, man. And as you can see from this, okay, the United States is reigning supreme, but it all goes back onto the thing of uh, of their uh, 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 pride, it goes back onto the thing of uh, uh, how much um how much commerce that they've amassed towards themselves, how much resources from the world that they have amassed to themselves, okay? It all goes back onto this military, man. That's why military spending is like 80% of the of the United States' uh, budget on a year, okay? Because they got to maintain all of these different aircrafts, all of these different aircraft carriers, not to mention submarines, military, okay? So they can go out there and, and, and really, really fuck these people. That's what they're doing, okay? They're just out there messing with people's lives out there, okay? But you're out there in the United States, as long as you can get your subway, okay, and get your little Toyota Prius, okay, and drive to your little job and, and, and so on and so forth. You feel some, you know, you feel some type of type of way about the situations that you have out there, whether it's pertaining to Syria, whether it's pertaining to them terrorist attacks. You feel that those countries are going to be destroyed, not realizing that you're the terrorist, okay? You're the terror. You're the one that's whipping these nations with a continual struggle, which I'm a, I might as well start off with that scripture because pretty much the premise has been hit. Okay, I mean, I'll, I'll go into it in a second, but uh, 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 you can see that the um, the direction I'm going with this. Okay, so this is in the book of Isaiah, okay, the 14th chapter. And it's one of my favorite scriptures right now because this is the this is what we're dealing with right, right now, okay? We're dealing with an individual, okay, that is quick to play the victim, okay? They're quick to play the victim. But when it comes to dealing with the fact that they're the murderers on the face of the earth, they don't want to deal with that, okay? All right, when you come into, the, and uh, more specifically, it's all good and well talking about how they're bombing the hell out of Syria, how they bombed the hell out of Iraq, okay? But the scripture talks about how the, the apple of the most eyes is Israel, okay? And the people that whom he's, he's, he's done the more this you know uh, despicable hate against is the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man, and they'll be the first one to say, "Look, that was in the history. That was our forefathers." Okay, hey, the scriptures talk about how the, the wicked shall complain of ungodly parents, man. Okay, they're gonna complain about ungodly parents. So here it is: if they was allowed to continue for generations and generations, of which they're not gonna be, the scriptures talk about how the Messiah set his bounds and he ain't gonna uh, expand beyond that. If he was to continue perpetually. They will pretend as though them nineteen hell, them nineteen uh, uh, um, uh, what do you call it? Them nineteen uh, aircraft carriers uh, have uh, are just there for show, are just there for defense. That's not a defense tactic. That's a terror tactic right there. Okay, that's why things are so good cheap out there in America, where you can get it to where you got uh, all kind of garments you're buying for for like five dollars, ten dollars. Okay, all kind of food that you can that you can consume to where the vast majority of, of America and you in the UK is obese. As a result of what? As a result of bullying these nations to giving up their resources and you can spread it amongst yourselves, but more specifically, them elite banking families amassing all of that wealth to themselves, man. 
Okay? So let's go into this scripture right here. Um, it's the book of um, Isaiah, the 14th chapter, on the 6th verse. It says, He who smote the nations in the continual, with a continual stroke, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted. And that's what we're looking forward to, God damn it. Okay? Because when, you, when you're bullying nations like that, okay, when you're bullying them, uh, what is it? Is it the next? The next closest uh, uh, country is, is France. Okay, if we double, if we double, double how much they've got, it gives us eight, and double it again, uh, it gives us sixteen. All right, they've nearly got what is it? Five. They've nearly got five times as much aircraft carriers out there within America, or they want short of five times as much as the next country. <laughs> now you got to think about that, man. Right? You gotta think about that. Here is you got a country that's apparently talking about peace and establishing peace and returning America to its great heights again. Of which we we gotta remember what the great heights of America was. That's when the Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans were in captivity, man. Okay, that's when they, that's when America was hot. That was the place where you are gonna set up businesses and dynasties and so on and so forth, man. Okay, and we had the uh, emancipation period. That's when really America started going down, man. Now what does that go to show you? Okay, that the workhorse, the, the force, the, 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 the people that, that, that really make America great is them same Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. Okay? So here it is, you've got an individual that's, that's quick to say, look, we're the victim, we're the victim, when they're the real terror upon the face of the earth, man. Okay? So let's read this. It says, um, okay, so where are we at? We are at, um, in fact, I want to I wanna start at the fifth verse again. This is Isaiah 14 and 5. It says, The Lord hath broken the staff of the wicked and the scepter of the rulers. Now, what's that talking about? Okay. You go to the book of 2nd Ezra, the 16th chapter. You get to find that. that was it 16th chapter? Yeah, it's the 16th chapter. Okay. You get it to, you get, no, no, no. It's the 13th chapter. Okay. You go to 2nd Ezra, the 13th chapter. You pretty much, you find out that the Lord's going to return with his chariots. Okay, we go into the book of Revelation. You find out that the, the spirit of this man, after they have their so-called World War Three, when the Lord presents Himself, His spirit is going to be to ally all of the forces that are upon the face of the earth. Okay, so whatever's left of their so-called aircraft carriers, whatever's left, whatever's left of their so-called military inventory, okay, they're going to amass that together. Right, they're going to put that together to try to fight against your whole shot. Okay, so you got this scripture here where it says here, he that, uh, uh, pretty much how the Lord has broken the staff of the wicked. Okay, his military, okay, he's going to be brought down to the ground. And that's going to be a good thing because that's what the, that's what, that's the premise that they, of their whole pride. Okay, he who smote the nations with a continual stroke, all right, he that ruled the nations in anger is persecuted. None's going to, none hinder it. So when the Lord really brings down this man, ain't nobody going to be worried about, well, you don't have it to where some countries are going to be thinking, oh man, you know, the country where we made all, all kind of money is going to be destroyed, okay? But here it is, they were making all kind of money. They was only making that money because they was partaking in destroying the whole world, man. The scripture talks about how this man has defiled the entirety of the whole world, okay? And he's brought these nations down to their knees. But you might have it to where a Chinese businessman is making all types of money out here within the United, out there within the United States or within the United, United Kingdom, Okay, and they're going to feel some type of way about that. But the people on the ground, the peasants, the vast majority of the people upon the face of the earth, we're going to rejoice at the destruction of Babylon. Okay, so let's go back to this and read a few more points. Real quick video. Okay, and we'll call it quits on that. So, uh, uh, um, it says there, okay, it says there within the sixth verse, uh, in the seventh verse, the whole earth is at rest. And it's quiet and they break forth into singing. So that's what we're looking forward to, man. And I thought I might bring out that point because when I saw that, I thought that, you know, that's 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 scriptural right there. Okay. So with that I'm gonna say all praise unto Yahweh Bashimi outside. Double honesty, apostles of GMS, honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity. Shalom.